Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Kingdoms Total War. Today we've got a huge, a huge battle. I turned on the large army, so it's going to be... I've only got about 37 units, the AI's got 40. I'm playing as Aragon, and we're going up against Bulgaria. So, that's their force coming on in. One long line. So it's going to be very interesting to see if we're going to win today. So let's take a little look at the Bulgarians' units. So they have Axemen with War Dogs. I don't remember that. Oh, maybe I haven't used that unit before. So, but the Bulgarian Axemen seem to have War Dogs with them, which is not good. They have Bulgarian Hooked Pikemen. Some more Axemen over here. They have a fair few units of Heavy Archers. They've got some units of Bulgarian Swordsmen as well. So they have a lot of axes and swords. I think I have a lot of spears. Uh, they have heavy infantry here along with Bulgarian cavalry boyards, which are limited to one per army. You have heavy spearmen, heavy spearmen, heavy spearmen. And then we have some black spearmen, which are, I don't know if they're meant to be invisible. Uh, maybe I just can't see them properly. And then we have some swordsmen, axemen, more hooked pikemen, and more archers. So, uh, if you're still enjoying battles of this mod, please do give it a like and all that jazz. That would be very fantastic and much appreciated. And over on my line, uh, we have a very defensive formation. We have a couple of units of hand gunners. Uh, we also have four units of crossbowmen, or six, I can't remember. Uh, heavy infantry. These beastly chaps. Then we also have a line of... Aragonese pikemen, which aren't gonna, I don't know if they're going to last too long, actually. Then we also have heavy infantry, so more pole arms. Uh, more marines. Footmen at arms. And then some low-class cavalry. Because I ran out of money. <laughs> and uh, some grenade arms, which are very heavy cavalry. So, we'll get this battle underway. Although they are marching towards me. Okay. So what kind of ammo? We'll put heavy shot on the crossbowmen. See what damage they can do there. And we wait. So I wouldn't really like to be on the end here. Just waiting. <laughs> waiting for like a cavalry charge in the rear. Is that the Martell's flag? Yeah. Anyway, um, I know I'm still getting lots of questions about this mod. I'll try and answer the main one now. I don't know when it's coming out, so no point asking me. No point commenting. I've told you now. I don't know. <laughs> so at the minute, as far as I'm aware, it's still for YouTubers. I, I'm not sure of the date. And I haven't asked Warman. So, yep. I simply do not know. I think we're firing with the Onagers. Fire away, sirs. Or not. Although I think we've already singed a tree. I think we're going to singe more trees here. Look, units. Oh! Wow! They took out a lot. And they lost a lot in the woods here. The heavy spearmen. Okay. So these guys should be in range of the cavalry now. So... Please fire. Oh, is that the handgunners? So here we are, firing more men into the line. Holy moly. So that's that flank decimated. Ready for battle. Raiders, ready. Okay, well, let's get these guys behind there. Although that was a bit too late. Let's get them behind the first rank. Get them behind the first rank. And then the heavy infantry should, I would hope, hold there. But we'll get the marines round on the flank. Get my cavalry round. Because they're going to take a lot of pressure here. So let's get the cavalry further back. Okay. Let's 
So we have... Oh, bloody hell. They released the dogs. They released the dogs. God damn it. Okay, I have a feeling we won't be able to take down those. The pikes, on the other hand, they are fighting bravely here against the heavy Bulgarian spearmen. So let's bring the crossbowmen right back now. And have we engaged... Oh my god, we've engaged with the Tsar. I only was going after the archers, but that's fine. So we'll try and get around their flank. Help out our buddies. But it appears our line is holding. So let's put this into slow-mo. And... Order the attack. And let's go across the line. See the battle raging. Well, <laughs> so most units are engaged. Here is interesting with the pikes. They've actually got through the pikes. They seem to be doing a fairly good job of punching through. Oh, some hand-to-hand -hand combat going on there. It's very interesting to see these large battles. And actually my PC coped with them for absolutely fine. Okay, so you can go the, in the pikes there. Okay, so this is a huge battle. Let's take a little screeny. And I'm going to do a bit of a risk here. Oh, I don't know how much it will constitu constitute a risk, because we're starting to win in terms of numbers. Ah. Uh, yeah. We'll commit those guys. The, yeah, the pikemen are the cheapest units that I brought with me, and they're not doing very well. I'm actually going to put some fire into the cavalry. I'm going to sacrifice my own cavalry, but try and take out their general in the process. In fact, that could be the shot that wins the campaign. No. <gasps> Burn! So we've actually... We're actually winning. Which is surprising. I wasn't expecting such a... Uh, push over here. Go forward, pikemen. The enemy general is dead. This is going very well. This is almost too well. I'm not sure if I've... Did I lower the difficulty and not realise? That would be very embarrassing, but entirely possible. Uh, I had a bit of... I had a few problems with... Uh, with launching Attila recently. Um, so, that might be the reason, because I'm absolutely... Actually, well, and I've also killed their general, so who would stand and fight after that? Well, there we go. That's a bit of a quicker battle than I wanted. This is... I need some human opponents. <laughs> uh, but actually, at the end of this battle, I'll show you which factions are available in the mod as well. So you can kind of see um, why I haven't been playing certain factions requested, because they're not actually in the mod yet. So, that battle went very much in my favour. Decisive victory. So, in the match there. Strange. Strange. Oh. Okay. Well. Let's change it back to... Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so I had I had to reset some certain stuff. Hence why I think that battle was so easy compared to how it should have been. So it, it appears that I should never play on normal, ever. And... 
that's kind of embarrassing. So, so these are the factions currently available. So hopefully these answer your two main questions. When the mod's coming out and what factions are in the mod. There will be more factions than what's in this at the minute. It's basically it's like a preview version. Uh, so expect probably a lot more. And ignore the Ascom and the Himyar. They, 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 that's just a bug. So you can have the Ayyubid Sultanate, the Sicilian Armenia, the Crown of Aragon, the Cuman Canart, Canart, Canarte, the Duchy of Burgundy, Empire of Nicaea, Grand Duchy of Lithuania, the Grand Principality of Serbia, the Kievan Rus, Kingdom of England, Kingdom of France, Kingdom of Georgia, Kingdom of Hungary, Latin Empire, Second Bulgarian Tarsdom, uh, the Sultanate of Rum, and the Teutonic Order. So those are the factions that you have available in this kind of little preview build. If you want to know when the mod is coming out, I would advise you to go on the Total War Center forums and ask Warman. Warman is kind of the pro project lead, I believe. So, go and ask Warman on Total War Center. So that's it. That's the uh, that's the little battle. Apologies, it wasn't meant to be easy. Technically, it was normal, but that's still too easy for me. In fact, I should probably just play on. Maybe even very hard from now on. Yeah, I like it hard. I like it hard. Anyway, I, I, really, <laughs> I don't know what that. I don't know what that voice was. Uh, strangely enough, I'm still ill. So, yeah, probably not the most, most fantastic video I've ever recorded. However, it's my fault for not checking the difficulty. However, you got to see a battle on epic scale at 60 frames a second, and I think that's still worth a like. <laughs> so until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Thank you.